Hello everybody, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this November 11th, 2023. It's being brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors, also brought to you by WSR Insurance Services Incorporated. As we take a look here now, heading through the middle part of November, we're going to find that across the western United States, we're going to see generally mild weather well into early to mid next week across many areas before wet weather. Early to mid next week does move into Washington and Oregon and then in, into California. We could see some real wet weather for the west coast by mid to late next week, California up through the Pacific Northwest. And as we get to late next week and next weekend, we're going to see that cooler wet weather get pushed more to the east, more into the central Rockies, the Great Basin, maybe the southern Rockies and the central and southern high plains. So while there will be a lot of the west that has mild dry weather for several days, we'll see cooler wet weather encroach the west coast and expand eastward by late next week and especially by next weekend. And we're still expecting the second half of November starting next weekend, the weekend thereafter through Thanksgiving week to be colder and more unsettled. For the third week in a row, the northern areas have been the most wet across the Pacific Northwest through the Northern Plains. Some of Central and Northern California getting wet. We did have a little bit of moisture in the Central Rockies here into the mountains of Colorado and Utah and Wyoming, but really nothing heavy. Pretty quiet elsewhere, especially across the Four Corners region and the desert Southwest. Over the last two weeks, Snowfall again has been more up into those northern areas, but we will see, as you'll see here in a moment, the Sierra Nevada of California by late next week will be getting into the snow. Temperature wise, the first half of November, first start of November at least, the first 10 days of the month, very warm. Above average temperatures for really most of the nation, especially along and east of the divide where Chinook affects right here have kept temperatures well above normal for the month of November so far. Although in the western areas, not as warm, and that area I just highlight will be the area that's going to be cooling off. Now, as we start the forecast period, generally speaking, a west to east jet stream flow will be found across most of the lower 48. So what we have is Pacific air, which is going to be flooding into the U.S., and that Pacific air is going to keep temperatures at or a little bit above average for many areas. We're locked out of the Canadian air. The locked up air up here in Canada is where the real cold air is, and that westerly flow kind of keeps it away. Now, there will be some rain. This low pressure system over southern Arizona will help pump moisture up out of Mexico and Central America into Texas, the Gulf Coast, maybe even southern areas of New Mexico. But elsewhere, at least at the beginning of this forecast period, not a lot going on. By next Saturday, though, notice we've got areas of rain and snow and low pressure getting further east off the west coast and into the Rockies. So by mid to late next week, California, Washington, Oregon getting wet. Then as late next week and next weekend progresses, that wetness will be traveling further east. And you can see that in the forecast along and west of the divide right here through next Saturday, it starts to get wet. East of the divide, it's probably not going to be until next weekend or shortly thereafter. But notice the rain in California, Washington, and Oregon's western areas, but also rains getting into Arizona, Utah, Nevada, western Colorado, into New Mexico here, and that will translate to some snow. Could see heavy snow in the Sierra Nevada, and that'll be a good start to the snowpack. And then late next week and next weekend, snow getting into the Rockies, and this snow here may increase as we get into Thanksgiving week with more active weather coming in the longer term. Have yourself a great weekend and a great week ahead. We'll see you next week. Our next update will be the 18th.